Hi guys, in this video we are going to learn about Photoshop CS6. So this is our chapter 3 in class 8. Let us start with the thing. What is Photoshop? It's a photo editing software, image editing software, which is developed and manufactured by Adobe Systems. Okay, so that's the company Adobe Systems is the company who's providing Photoshop to us. Okay, in the same way, how, how are we using Microsoft Office uh, softwares like Word, Excel, PowerPoint, which is coming from Microsoft company, right? So here, Photoshop is a software which is coming from Adobe Systems. It's a company. And it offers variety of tools to manipulate. To manipulate is nothing but work on your images and you can crop, you can resize, you can correct the colors, you can change the uh, photo colors, dress colors, and you can change the blemishes. I mean, you can add blemishes on the screen, okay? All those things you can do only on digital photos. That's important, that is digital photos, okay? And then this software is widely used by professional like photographers, graphics designers, animators, etc. Okay, so next, what are the features of Photoshop? Okay, uh, it's a user friendly, you no need to learn anything much about it, and it has advanced image adjustments. And you can you edit even motion based materials, motion based is nothing but the GIF images. Okay, you know, auto, you know about GIF images, right? So, you can edit even the GIF images in Photoshop. Okay, and you can you can produce multiple and complex images of the same thing okay just like copy paste you can create multiple images multiple objects okay and then you can create graphics with reduced file size sometimes in case of reducing the file size we have some images with bigger file size and you wanted to reduce the size you can do that using this uh, photoshop okay so these are the features of photoshop next starting photoshop how to start Photoshop CS6. Okay, so first you have to click on start button and then all programs, then Adobe and then select Adobe Photoshop CS6. Okay, so this is the way you have to start your Photoshop. And once you started the Photoshop, you'll you need to set up the document. Okay, setting up the document is nothing but setting up my background page where we are going to work, right? So this is how our Photoshop page looks like. Okay, so the settings page look like and here we have new dialog box where we have to type the name of the photo and then preset should be in custom. Then we have to set the width and height in pixels. What is meant by a pixel? It's a picture element. When you zo full zoom your picture, you can see small, small dots and squares, right? So those are called pixels. Okay, so a picture, an image is made up of pixels. Full form of pixel is picture element so the combination of width and height pixel will made your picture okay and then we have resolution that is also we are mentioning in name of pixel okay so resolution is nothing but clarity what how much clarity your your photo is going to have so that is what called resolution and then we have color mode always we'll be having rgb color with 8 bit and then the background color is based on your wish let us have white okay so once you set all these things you can click okay so you'll be taken to the uh, home page of your photoshop okay and the photoshop's home page will be looking like this that is what called interface layout okay so here we have headings i mean like menus title bar menu bar tools palettes colors layers history all the things okay now let us go and see the photoshop and start editing the photo now we are going to open photoshop for that click on start button all programs and then adobe photoshop cs4 so as i say, have only cs4 version i'm just opening cs4 cs4 and cs6 are 99 percent same so nothing much in that so it's loading so this is how the photoshop page will look like so you can see cs4 the version name over here Okay, and here is the title bar. Then we have the menus, file, edit, image, layer. So these are all the menus. So this place is called menu bar. And then we have tools inside the toolbar. Then at the right side, we have navigator. So this is the place where you can see the preview of the picture. And then here we have swatches and styles. Then we have layers option. So this is what called interface layout. Okay, so now let us start with the new page. So as usual, go to file and click on new. So here we need to type the name of the document, the photo. Okay, so I'm just typing the name as sample. 
now preset let it be as custom with 800 height 600 resolution 72 color rgb color and then background color is white now i'm just clicking on okay so this is what called setting up the document i have done everything you can see the image size over here suppose if you wanted to reduce the size you can do it by changing the value of height and width okay so now i'm just clicking okay i'm just making a background for me to work on it now this is called work area where i'm going to do all the editing and you can see the preview over here okay so next how are we going to insert a picture to insert a picture you can insert pictures in two ways one is just by simply placing the picture on the background or just opening the picture which is already saved now we are going to place the picture on this background okay i'm just going to file select place you'll be taken to the dialog box where you have pictures okay and i'm just clicking on the school logo now click place the picture will be placed on the screen now you can adjust it and if you want to rotate you can see the mouse pointer okay and when i keep over here it is showing as a double headed arrow and when i'm holding like this i'm just hovering the mouse you can see it is looking like an arc so you can rotate your picture okay so once you have done press enter key picture will be placed on the screen so this is how you can place the picture on the screen okay next we are going to work with the picture right so now we are going to start with the tools first mark you tool okay so here when you're keeping your mouse pointer when you're hovering your mouse pointer it will be telling you the name of the tool so you don't need to learn anything you don't need to remember everything you just need to keep your mouse pointer and you can see a few tools are having a small triangle at the right side bottom corner okay it's not available for crop you can check all other tools okay which means it has some sub tools now i'm right clicking on it i'll be getting the list of tools under that so if i select mark you tool i'm getting four sub tools under that so i have rectangular mark you and elliptical mark you rectangle mark you tool is used to select a portion of the image with two different shapes okay rectangle or elliptical now i'm just clicking on rectangle tool and i'm selecting only this part right i'm just going to copy edit clicking on copy going to edit pressing paste now going and selecting the move tool i can get one more so this is the use of mark you tool which is used to select it in some shape okay now you can check over here at the beginning when i introduced this layers box it was blank and this is background layer and this is school logo which we have uh, inserted at the beginning and now this is layer one the new layer okay if i delete this photo that layer will go off which means whatever work we are making that will be added as a layer over here and as i said this is how your preview will look like okay now let me do the same with elliptical mark you i'm just drawing an ellipse okay and i can just move it now edit copy again edit paste now i can see one more layer called layer one now i can move this over here okay so this is how we can work suppose if you wanted to move this logo school logo layer you cannot move that see i'm just clicking over here but that layer one is moving because layer one got selected here to change that click on school logo and you can move that now if you want to delete it select the layer so that that picture will get selected now you can delete it okay so this is the use of mark you tool next we are going to lasso tool the second one is lasso tool this is also used for selection here we have three types of lasso tool normal lasso polygonal lasso magnetic lasso tool okay now i'm clicking on lasso tool it will be like free hand drawing we have to draw like this if you draw a line around it it is like free hand drawing like drawing with a pencil we have to close it on the place where we started now i'm going to edit copy edit paste and you can even use the shortcut keys like Control C and Control V for copying and pasting. Now you can see this layer one. Okay, so this, if you check, 
I've just added some extra spaces here and there and here it got, got erased. Okay. Now I'm just going to use the second one polygonal lasso tool. It is like selecting it using some polygon. See, I just click. I'm getting a single line. If I click over here, I'll be getting one more thing. You can go like this. By using some clicks, you can select the picture. So this can be done only when your picture is like a polygon now it got selected Control c for copying sorry i didn't select that particular layer i'm just clicking on this layer now so Control c Control b move tool i'm just i can just move it okay again here look at this place and look at this part okay we have some some parts are missing okay next the third lasso tool magnetic lasso tool so this is the one which adds magnets on the edges automatically even if i move simply it will mark the corners edges automatically you can see some squares around the picture i'm just dragging i'm not clicking anywhere see i'm just going here and there it is just adding some magnets okay so this is how it is working now again you have to select the layer copy paste okay now you can see the difference this one is better than other three okay if you want to check it clearly you can use this zoom button okay and you can see it here i just zoomed it here and you can see the red color box which where i can see it okay so if i move this red color part i can see all the things like this okay so this is the use of this navigator palette right so these are all about lasso tool let me zoom out now the next tool is magic wand and quick selection quick selection tool is used to select the parts with the same color quick selection tool is used to add the parts look at this i just clicked on this it got selected automatically just by clicks you can add this quick selection okay but magic wand tool will select the adjacent colors okay so that is the difference between magic wand tool and quick selection tool look at this i'm just clicking on this green color this hand got selected automatically so this is the use of magic wand tool i'm just copying it pasting it moving it i've got this green color okay i just clicked on the color that's it so magic wand tool is used to select the color with the same or similar color okay then crop tool crop tool as you all know it is just used to crop the image that's it okay so select the image using the crop tool select the image press center key all other parts will be hidden and only that particular part you can see and you can see all other layers are blank now only the selected layer is visible okay you can do Control z and you can check get everything back okay so that is move tool and crop tool and we have eyedropper tool then eyedropper tool is just like a color picker tool like in paint which we have learned in third standard and second standard and third standard okay so select the eyedropper tool click on the color okay once you clicked on the color you can see that color got selected here in the colors mode box now select the layer and apply the color that's it so this is the use of eyedropper tool picking it from one place pouring it in other place just like giving using drops to the children's okay when they are giving um, medicines using the drops right take it, picking it from one place and pouring it in other place okay so this is uh, and another example is like ink filler okay so this is the use of eyedropper tool right so next we are going to see about drawing and selection tools in photoshop okay so the first one in that is text tool here as i said if you right click we'll be getting four more options so here horizontal type vertical type and horizontal mask and vertical marks first let, let me explain horizontal type tool okay which is used to type horizontally so before you start typing you can change the font style over here and then font size 
then select whether it can be crisp smooth or whatever and then alignment then we have color so just click on this color you'll be taken to the color panel where you can change the color okay click okay so now I'm, you can select this like the style i'm just selecting arc okay so now i'm just going to type like So this is my text and I can type like this and if you want to make any changes, click on move tool, select the layer, you can increase and decrease the size of it. You can increase and de decrease the size of it and you can move around, you can place it, okay, and you can rotate it, all these you can do, okay. So that's it. So this is about horizontal type. Next we have vertical type tool which is used to type vertically. This is how you can type vertically. Click on move tool and you can again do resizing, rotating, all the things can be done over here. Okay. So this is how we can use type tool. Okay. Next we have pen tool. Use of pen tool is it is used to draw smooth edged path. Okay. On defined path. So now I'm just selecting the background. I'm just going to pen tool. Look at this. I'm just pointing point a i'm just marking point a i'm just marking point b now i've got a straight line directly so you can select path using this uh, pen tool option okay and this is marking the path and how to select this path so here we have path selection tool click on it and click on the path the path will get selected I, and you can move around the path okay so this is pa pen tool and path selection tool okay so next we have color boxes and modes okay so here at the bottom of the toolbox you can see the color box and modes okay so this first box is for setting back foreground color and the second box is for setting background color and this is to switch over between foreground and background color you can check i'm just clicking on this foreground color is coming to background and background is coming to foreground so switch foreground and background colors and this is default color foreground is black and background is white and if you want to switch you can switch between the modes okay so whenever i'm just clicking on the color i can see it is changing okay and one more thing is styles so let me select this text layer and i'm just selecting the layer okay now i i'm just going to apply the styles okay i'm just clicking on the style that particular style is being applied you can check and just keep on changing the style Okay, so these are all about styles. Okay, so these are all about basics of Photoshop tools. Okay, and then next we have how to insert an image or text. So as I said, we are just going to file and we are just clicking on open. So this is second way of inserting the picture. Okay, so now this is how we can insert the picture adding the picture is different inserting the picture is different now i i couldn't see any of my previous layers okay so if i want to add many pictures to a single background i have to go for place and if i want to add a single picture and i'm going to work on that picture means i have to go for file and open right so this is how we'll be making it okay next the last one is how to save your file go to file click on save as or you can press shift control and yes together you'll be getting the save as dialog box where we can type the name and then you can change the format and then you can click save so this is just like saving other things and then click ok that's it this file got saved with a new name okay so after editing once you have done with all the editing works if you want to save you can go to file and click on save okay so by here the photoshop chapter is getting over and we'll see in the next chapter which is a continuation of photoshop okay where we are going to see how to remove your pimples from the photos and all right okay I uh, hope all the tools are clear now. We'll meet you in the next video. Thank you. Happy learning.